back with a semi-final here. We've got Tom Stokes and Cohen. We'll give you all ready to go. I've got Chrissy Bullard sat beside me. Thanks for joining me, Chris. Appreciate that a lot. And uh, before this game, see too much of this game, what's your early thoughts and predictions for this one? Um, well, I well, just played Tom, so I thought he played really well against me, so he definitely has a chance to get through to the final. Um, I haven't seen Cohen play in probably a year, so I've got, you know, I've got no idea how good this guy is. Uh, I'm maybe not so good this guy is. It? Sort of an unknown entity, really, because, um, I don't think he sort of came anywhere in the SWC. I think he might be too young to play in uh, the version game tournament. I'm not sure. Um, so he hasn't. He didn't really sort of do anything last year. But um, yeah, he, he was a great player in FIFA 11, and he must you know he probably is a great player in this. Who's who, by the way? <laughs> Okay, um, Tom Stokes is yellow and Cohen is in the blue. Cohen came semi-finalist at EGL4 at the Emirates last year. So that's when I sort of first met him and saw him. So, yeah, really good kid. I think he's only let in goal, like two goals in tournament so far today. So he was just a bit gutted, he let one in in his last last game. Sorry, forgot to take that off people. Sorry guys, blanking half your screen off there. Alright, I'll get Chris, Chris to speak up in a minute. He's probably tired after a long day's FIFA, I think. So, 15 minutes in. nil nil at the moment, this is a semi-final in the i47 multiplayer 1v1 fifa 13 pro cup winner of this walks away 600 pounds the richer tonight so we're into the last four so we've got tom and cohen on stream and we've got next to them ollie and ty in the other semi-final so uh, we've got our own version of alan McAnally. he's going to report back regularly with scores from the other game to to keep you updated so yeah say so early doors no one really dominating the game yet but a long way to go yet. Chris is a fellow Chelsea fan. Seeing the things that are going on at uh, the bridge at the moment after today's result. How are you feeling about things? I actually um, hate Rafa Benitez right now. Um, I don't even know why he's at our club. Um, to be quite honest, there's a decent chance. There's a good chance we could chip through there. Open for Tom. <laughs> in the inside of the post he's still got a chance here actually meant forward but um, that pass was to, to the one blue player in the centre there um, Tom's still putting the pressure on now it's sort of a forced cross can come and clear it yes <laughs> but yeah like Oh my god, it, that, that was so basic again, sort of Cohen just letting his runner go, Tom with the little pass through. Um, but again, sort of to no prevail and um, Cohen actually gets away with it, he's got away with it twice now um, in the sort of last 10 minutes. But Tom again sort of leaving his defence wide open there, Cohen could have done the through ball to that um, guy on the right wing. Um, he <laughs> sort of just didn't see it. Um, now Tom with um, a break forward. Goal, surely. Great goal. Great cross. Um, Cohen sort of not seeing the runner in the middle. Um, and a great top cross by Tom. The Benitez thing is, I uh, I'm not sure what Abramovich is doing, like if he's trying to get the supporters against Chelsea, I, I'm not really sure. Uh, 
I actually feel we might not make the Champions League now, where we should have been the top, we should have been in the free horse race for this premiership. Um, I think we're out of it, quite plain and simple. Um, I don't think we're in it anymore because of Benitez. Um, I just don't know why Di Matteo got sat diva. I, I actually didn't want Di Matteo to get hired in the first place. I thought the way we played to win that Champions League was very lucky. I don't think we played good at all, but we got the luck, and that that was that chapter over. Drogba went, and but it was a shame for Di Matteo to then come in and do well, and then get sacked. Um, and we're not still out of the Champions League, to be fair. But we we'll stay there by Cohen, Stokes to break. I <laughs> said the woodwork again. Stokes getting fairly unlucky there, although the angle wasn't that great. And, it, and again, Tom sort of leaves his defence wide open. Cohen crosses early. <laughs> Nearly gets the sort of headed rebound. Um, but Tom was able to clear. It's actually quite an open game now. Um, both sort of players being able to counter attack each other a little bit too easily, which, um, considering Cohen's only scored so let in two goals, is quite surprising. Um, just got an Alan McAnally moment. We just got the uh, score from the other game. It's currently sitting in the first game. Ty Walton nil, Ollie Shaw nil. So no score yet, but quite early days in that game. Yeah, I must say Chris is a fellow lifelong Chelsea fan. I was nearly in tears that we'd actually got someone who I was lucky enough to be at. <laughs> that should have been a goal. I was lucky enough to be at the I think it was a 96 Cup final when Di Matteo scored after 42 seconds and then at the 2001 when he scored the winner against Villa as well. So a hero for me. Oh, was that... So it looked like it was in from here. But yeah, to get that. I thought the good thing with Di Matteo was that at least he had the fans and the players on his side. And that's what Abramovich has turned against now. And then to put, but I feel sorry for Benitez. I don't, it's never a guy I've uh, admired, but he's been put in an impossible position by a set of fans that hate him. At a time when we're struggling, John Terry's not the team, we've got no leadership. And it's an all around difficult situation. To, but felt so sorry for Di Matteo just you know, lost a couple of games a couple of bad injuries and uh, no, no. Uh, the whole Champions League situation I think it's um, if Shakhtar beat Juventus and we win we can still qualify like Shakhtar are going to be at home they're going to be comfortable I don't think you know, I don't know if they'll have an unofficial sort of let's play out for a draw and both qualify um, but uh, uh, yeah I don't see why because Shakhtar have been amazing um, you know they, they definitely deserve to be us the two times we played them I thought um, I think we got lucky against them um, so I think they can beat Juventus as well um, Tom with another chance there so carving for Cohen's defence um, And again just struggling to break out but finally does get the break it's kind of four five on three now um, and Kern again has a good chance to the play out of that post can he reach him oh, what <laughs> I was halfway through what a goal um, well to be fair he sort of, that's the only thing he could have done in that position was just drill across um, a low cross across goal if it hit his player and it, and it did and that's why I thought it was in but keeper saving Tom on that occasion and it's sort of come with the audacity to break forward now Tom's keeper clearing that and Kern will start again or not Pass by Kern there, that was a big mistake. Could lead to a goal, great cross. <laughs> great goal. 
and that's why you can't make mistakes at this level. Like, I'm not sure why he played a long through pass. Actually, I think I might have done it a few times last game against Tom as well, but um, it was a strange pass to make, especially now. And Tom should score again. Will score again. Um, wow. Two good goals. Um, yeah. Can't see how Tom's going to get back into this now. That's a little bit surprised about this performance. You know, if you hadn't let him, he made two goals of the tournament, now he's letting three in one match. Um, so, it's not a bit of a shell shock. Whether or not he's been playing sort of weaker players up until now, I'm not sure. Maybe that hasn't sort of benefited. Um, I think the bracket was quite kind to him. Um, sort of Stokes has had to battle, I'd like to think, quite hardly against myself. Um, <laughs> and, um, and obviously, you had to be Sean Allen, who's a good player, you know, to get past. So I'm trying to get sort of a consolation going on, surely all that will be. Nearly <laughs> sort of lux the rebound there. Um, and Tom to a break again. so easy for both of them there like again again um Tom sort of getting beaten tricked on the edge of his box really easily and uh a nice kind of shot into the corner which surely it's only consola it's consolation now if, if Tom was to sort of lose the victory from here on um yeah I think yeah I think he'll break his other leg but um, Tom with a chance now start back post so, that will secure now. Uh, any idea of what Cohen has to do so the next match to turn us around? Yeah, like you say, I'm uh, most surprised that we've seen him only can see two goals all day so far and then come into this one and 4-0 down, 4-1 down. So uh, it be interesting to see what he, if he does change things around. Like you say, he's been a little way too open at the back. Probably his nice, relaxed Dutch nature. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Tom is a strong player. No doubt about it. And he's been consistently, probably one of the most consistent players at land for the last couple of years, to be fair. So, uh, it's always a hard game. And here's Tom trying to, is he going to make it five? No, put it wide, but, but he's going to chip the keeper. So, that's it. Just waiting for the whistle to go. And, uh, yeah, at the moment, I can only see one result in the second game. But, uh, say, Cohen wouldn't have travelled all the way here. He's, he's done well in other events we've seen him at. So, he's got something to offer. Perhaps just a, a poor game or his Tom style not suiting him at all. But, should be good enough to adapt. So what's your prediction for the second game then, Chris? I saw enough there from Cohen to suggest that if, if he kind of gets the opposite, if, if he goes in the lead first, then we might have kind of a re reverse result. I think um, th that goal was quite important for Tom to get that one then up. Um, and then Cohen sort of, maybe before he had to make the move a little bit earlier, I'm not really sure, because his defence did seem very open towards the end. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, he, he sort of came here with training for version gaming in mind. So, um, you know, there's not that much pressure for him to win. <laughs> it wasn't really a cross with any sort of integrity there, just whipped in. Um, it was just a bit, a bit surprising by Cohen there. Um, as he sort of built, built the attack for sort of five minutes. Now Stokes trying to look for that gap. 
Actually, I do like Stoke's style of play. Like, um, it's, it's kind of playing the style we were playing in FIFA um, FIFA 10. Like, little quick short passes in front of the back four, tied up with chip through balls like you just saw Cohen do. Um, actually, I think I think it's a good way to play this game. I'm not even have to give it a go myself, but. Yeah. yeah, this is like, yeah. 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 It is sort of, you know, it, it's not great for the game to have sort of that ping pong effect in it, but I sort of, kind of the star Stokes plays, um, especially when it sort of advanced up the field. Um, you know, and sort of just what looks for that little gap, little chip through ball. Um, I'm quite unlucky there, actually, not to break through. I don't think Cohen knew too much about that dummy. Um, I think his AI defender gave him a little help there just to get that clear. Yeah, Stokes doing a good job at the moment, not really panicking, just playing the game like he was before. Um, again, like little things like that, just, but, he's sort of just waiting for it to drop for him, really, and that's all he needs to do. And sort of ask the question of Cohen, which isn't being answered right now. Tom again, breaking. Uh, um, I think assisted Fruber wasn't very kind to him there. Let's see if Cohen can actually get an effective break on him. Again, Tom fizzing out, so sort of just after the halfway line. But it's still nil nil, so. That's uh, because you've got to 90 minutes in the other game. Oh, what a save! 90 minutes, Ty and Ollie, so they've gone into extra time. That's nil nil at the moment, so nil nil's all around. Oh, the keeper stood and watched that. Obviously, cleared it. Got something on it. There we go. The keeper stays at home. Yeah, the keeper stayed at home, and there's there was a Brazilian against <laughs> Tom's player to nod home unchallenged at the back post but oh put Combs through then but now it's uh, see Tom start relaxing I don't know I didn't see the setting but oh oh straight out into touch so, 32 minutes gone, and it's 1-0 to the Yellows. Tom Stokes is Brazil. This is Cohen from Holland. Cohen needs to win this, he's already game down. So, uh, there's chip through, nice ball. This is his first touch. Oh, scooped it over, and just wouldn't sit down for him there. But at the moment, Cohen not really doing enough to convince us that uh, he's going to change the outcome of this game. Tom looking very comfortable at all times with the ball. He's playing, stroking it around nicely. A little bit of skill at the right time. He's got it right loaded over there. Oh, made the space but couldn't get the shot away and uh, or 50 percent strike oh what happened to the defender Tom was in then but so here's Cohen no there's Tom again just nothing seems to trouble him Uh, 
Cohen's got to have some ha team talk at half time get these as 45 minutes of FIFA time to uh, keep him in the tournament and there's Tom again nice Brick wall of blue to go through. There we go, half time. So, uh, we're going to see any tactical changes? No. That surprise you at all? Um, not really. Uh, well, I don't. I don't think Cohen will do anything at the moment. Um, he's actually had a few good chances in uh, in that last sort of 15 minutes of the first half. So maybe keep it the same for 15, maybe even longer. It depends how he's getting on, really. But. Um, of, I, don't, I don't think FIFA players like to change their system. They like to sort of keep with what they know um, until he really needs to sort of go all out. But Tom again with the charge. Oh, what a goal! That was one of the goals of the tournament. Uh, well, I haven't been watching the stream, but that was pretty good. Uh, I don't even know that was possible, to be honest. Um, <laughs> oh, that was pretty amazing. Um, I didn't know you could sort of chip volley the keeper uh, first time uh, like that. Normally nor it just goes into Rose Z. Uh, that was a pretty long time. Uh, I guess it's one minute up the game. One, one, it was one minute up in the, this game, so I can afford to try a little stuff like that. And it did pay off. Again, Tom, can he get it to his left winger there? But the plan is safe. I'm not taking my advice. <laughs> that, that actually looked like a dive, I'm not sure. Well, I'm a gal foul there, but. Ooh, Cooper claims it. Can Cohen find an answer now? Um, he's got. Four, four, yeah. <laughs> My master's has failed me. 35 minutes of um, sort of FIFA time. And he's got me over here. Oh, this guy goes for the sort of ping pong pass backwards, but. Um, doesn't make it. It's a bit untidy in there, but Tom does deal with it and should now get it out and attack again, take his time hopefully and yep. Ooh! <laughs> that was a great ball actually, just inside. Wow. This is probably from Tom actually, this is To be fair, Tom did win this tournament a year ago, so this is, the, is this the last thing Tom won this this tournament a year ago? I can't. I'm not sure if it's won EGL. So. Obviously, likes playing in December and Ice Series. Cohen now trying to break. <laughs> nice playing. There's no one in there. But it's a sort of table header. And Tom playing a little step over games with him now. Again, can break two on one. This should be a goal already. Go go. Yeah, yeah. He's been really clinical actually in this game as well. Like last game, they both had about five, six chances each and um, you know I guess Tom got the better hand and sort of got four wins um, now this game's Tom, Tom's had sort of five, six break chances, scored all four and Kern hasn't really had a clear cut chance, maybe one um, and yeah Tom's dominated to be fair he's playing little skill games with him now and Again, like, like the last game, he should be able to just see this out nice and easy. <laughs> oh, no. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, though. Like, I, I play, like, if I'm 4 0 down, there's no point keeping that 4 0 loss in the bank. Oh, you know, try to defend. Come on, may as well just go all out attack. Um, who cares if he loses 8 8 9 now? He, he's got to try and win like this to get these breaks. <laughs> the keeper. Um, nice keeping charge there by Tom actually and 
Kerr must have thought he was in there. Oh, this is a great goal if it is. Oh. Again, that little sort of tippy tappy ping pong football um, sort of pan off. Finished with the through ball. Um, but Tom unable to um, give a little ding volley this time. Muscled and Tom again should be able to clear and I'm almost tempted to call GG. Actually it's something you don't really see in the FIFA scene, like you see it in a lot of other games where if someone has obviously lost, they'll just sort of GG. Oh F4, see you later. Um, I'd actually like to do that, I don't like messing around, you know, if I'm 4 down in a game like this. Especially with 5 minutes left and I don't see a way I've got that. Know, maybe that's a bad way to look at it. Anything should be able to happen, but... I can only see one thing happening here. <laughs> Going to the last seconds, just to report free from the first game. Ty won the penalty shootout against Oli, so Ty is one one game up, and there we go, full time and uh, deserving victory from Tom there. Very dominant both games. Uh, some quality FIFA as well. Some of the best FIFA I've seen benefit from watching today. I want to see that uh, goal replayed because I missed that one. Yeah. Yeah, make it 2-0. Okie doke, so uh, that's the first of our finalists are uh, secured. So that's Tom Stokes with a well-deserved victory. Okay, no. Dave has still can't get my head around the way everyone's using Brazil. But uh, yeah, I think like I think Chris, uh, Chrissy mentioned earlier, very strong in defence, quick out on the wings with Neymar. So uh, yeah, we're just going to take a quick break, guys. We're going to come back in a second with our well. Ollie and Ty have just gone into the second game, so we'll be back with the final as quick as we can. <laughs> 